Time now for a check of weather with meteorologist Matt Yurisovic. Matt, it looks like August is shaping up to be a hot one, and the commodity markets definitely noticed that this week. But is this still due to that shifting ridge of high pressure that created the dome of high heat over the western Corn Belt and Plains a couple weeks ago? Yeah, time more of that high heat and humidity expected across the middle of the country as we head through this upcoming week. And that's not going to go anywhere. That ridge is going to stay strong, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. But here's a look at the updated drought monitor. Still some uh, areas up in the northeast and along the east coast abnormally dry. Right through the Corn Belt, though, we've seen some relief from some of those drought conditions. Still seeing that expanding drought, though, for Oklahoma, parts of Kansas, even to southern Missouri and northern Arkansas. And then still tons of drought going on in Texas. The Four Corners region slowly improving as monsoon season really hits uh, high gear. And then we've still got extreme to exceptional droughts. Parts of the San Joaquin Valley and parts of Nevada all expecting some rain as we head uh, through the upcoming week. So something that we'll keep an eye on. But here's a look at the root zone again. Staying uh, pretty much average here across the Mississippi uh, River Valley and up into the Great Lakes. But starting to dry out again across the east, mid-Atlantic up into the northeast very dry from Kansas down south into Texas and then much of the Rockies and back west towards uh, the San Joaquin Valley there and the Pacific Coast dealing with extremely dry conditions and that is going to continue at least along the west coast because look at this ridge as we head into this week Tuesday still seeing the heat and the humidity jet stream well to the north but watch what happens as we head towards the end of the week that ridge really starts to extend northward into southern parts of Canada bringing that heat and and humidity farther to the north and even into next weekend the ridge continues to grow right through the middle of the country and we're expecting uh, temperatures that could be 10 to 15 degrees above average for most of the lower 48 as we head through the upcoming week still looking at chances for rain though on monday that's going to be in the east still with these fronts moving eastward still hot and humid in the south hot and dry in the west except for where we've got those afternoon thunderstorms here and some of which could be on the heavier side especially for parts parts of New Mexico, Colorado and Arizona. Otherwise, we've got sunshine in the Pacific Northwest. Heading into Wednesday, August 3rd, hot and humid across the south again. Sunny through the middle of the country, more showers and thunderstorms off in the west, and then we've got more of those afternoon pop-up storms in the southeast as well. Then as we head into Friday, much of the same back in the west. More of the pop-up showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. Another system moving across the Great Lakes could bring a little bit more shower activity and more of those afternoon thunderstorms down across the south. Temperatures this week, though, much above average, about 10 to 15 degrees above average for most of the Corn Belt and center part of the country and below normal where we've got those showers and storms in the west. And then the precipitation look this week below normal right through the middle of the country, but where we've got some of those showers and storms in the west, we'll see more of that precipitation and then above normal in parts of Tennessee as well. And August as a whole looking extremely warm, that ridge not going anywhere, and we're going to keep tracking that uh, here and we'll have more for you next week. Time back to you. Thank you, Matt. We'll keep a close eye on weather because it is that August forecast that sent soybeans soaring this week. We will get the latest from Matt Bennett and Naomi Bloom next.